Hi, I'm Anthony, and in this video of Battery Experts with Anton Parr, we will discuss solid density of powder electrode materials. There are two important solid density values, tap density and true density, and both are important parameters affecting the quality of electrode powders and battery slurries. Tap density, also referred to as bulk density or packing density, is an important parameter when characterizing powder electrode materials since it has a direct effect on the efficiency and energy management of a battery cell. It includes the volume of the solid phase, the volume of the spaces between particles, and the volume of pores within particles. The principle of measuring tap density is very simple. Weigh a certain amount of powder material in a graduated cylinder or sample cell, and once in a packed state, which means after multiple taps, simply record the volume and determine the tap density value. True particle density of solids and semi-solids, also known as skeletal density, represents an inherent physical property of the material and, unlike bulk density of powders, it is independent of particle size, shape, or the degree of compaction. Skeletal density will not change over time, and accurately measuring the skeletal density of electrode powders, as well as slurries, allows battery scientists to predict the performance of the electrodes in a battery cell with a great degree of certainty. Skeletal density is measured by a technology called gas spectrometry. The principle is to precisely measure gas volumes differentials before and after expansion into an empty reference chamber. For that, select the appropriate sample cell size based on the sample volume available. The sample should fill out a minimum of 75% of the cell's volume for optimal results. The recommended gas to use is helium, due to its behavior as ideal gas and because its small atomic dimension makes it better suited to penetrate pores of solid electrode materials. Then, accurately weigh a sample into the gas spectrometer cell, place it in the instrument, and seal the lid. In the software, input the measurement parameters, including weight, sample type, which is powder in this case, choose powder protect mode, which will avoid sample elutriation or spread and protect the instrument, select analysis gas, which is helium in this case, then the pressure, which should be set at low for powders not to compress the sample and affect the density value. And finally, select the end criteria based on the accuracy required. After you start the measurement, the instrument will generate the data automatically and provide the value of the skeletal density of the sample. So it is necessary to accurately measure the density parameters of electrode materials to ensure proper characterization of this powder and slurry and predict the effect of the quality of the final product, the battery cell.